Hi, I'm Dr. Bobby Braille. I was the 11th president of the International Chiropractors Association. Very shortly, you'll be receiving in the mail a document asking you to vote on changes to the ICA's governing documents. I have read the proposed new changes, this new document, several times. I watched the video presented by the ICA president and saw the letter of recommendation by the ICA board. After careful consideration and reviewing all the materials, I urge you to vote no. And let me tell you why. First of all, these new bylaws eliminate the democratic process of voting for ICA leadership, eliminating the excitement and, and of membership elections and selection of your ICA leaders. It eliminates forever the offices of president, vice president, as well as regional directors, all of whom were elected previously by the membership of ICA. This effectively removes forever the lineage of ICA leadership that includes B.J. Palmer, Sid Williams, D.D. Umber, Fred Barge, and many of the other strong and important leaders of ICA. It eliminates the four regional directors who were elected by the membership in those regions. It eliminates the Canadian director the international director, and we're the International Chiropractors Association. It also eliminates mandated college board seats for ICA-affiliated chiropractic institutions, thus severing the required link between ICA and the chiropractic colleges set up under B.J. Palmer. This new document, under this new document, most board members will be elected by the board itself. It creates a governing committee, a governance committee, that is responsible for deciding who is eligible to run for the ICA board. Kind of an incestuous situation. Chiropractic, the board is self-promoting that. It, it decides who's allowed to run and then votes on who to replace itself with. This shuts off new life from the ICA. This shuts off new leadership, something that is necessary for growth something that's necessary for the advancement of ICA and ICA values. This new document removes membership participation and changes the governing documents of ICA. Uh, so in the future, if you vote for this, you see in the past, ICA documents have always required that a change to the ICA constitution be sent to the membership for them to vote on. This new document will remove that effectively. Basically, if you vote for this new document, you have removed your vote from the future, meaning other changes don't require your vote in the future. They can just make changes based upon a majority of the board. You know, four times in ICA's history, there's been an attempt to dissolve, take over, or merge the ICA. I was heavily involved in the fight to preserve the ICA in the last two of those failed attempts. What saved the ICA ultimately, in addition to the strength of our members, was the strength of our ICA constitution, which required a two-thirds vote of ICA members to agree on a merger. Now, I watched the ICA president's video where he said merger is not on the table, and I, and I hope that's true. However, Article 11 of this new document does say that two-thirds of the membership is needed for merger uh, but don't be fooled by that. Go a little further down. Article 17 allows the board to change the document and eliminate Article 11 by a simple majority vote, thus removing the protection of having to go to you, the membership, to preserve this organization. Effectively, the ICA could be eliminated. I don't just think about right now. I think about five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. ICA is going on 95 years. With this new document, I seriously doubt it makes another 95. In fact, I have my doubts about the next five or 10. ICA has always been proud to be a democratic, membership-driven, membership participation organization. Why in the world would we voluntarily give, voluntarily give this up? Give up our democracy in ICA. I not only urge you to vote no, but also to spread the message about this change. Share this video. Get others to join you in preserving democracy in ICA and chiropractic. 
Thank you. God bless you. God bless the International Chiropractors Association.